everyone! Welcome to another Makeup Detective video. This is where I explore trademarks, mostly from brands that we are familiar with, sometimes with new or upcoming brands, sometimes new releases. I just like to do a little researching and I like to keep my eye on the trademarks and see what seems interesting. And I haven't done one of these videos in a while because Honestly, there hasn't been a lot in the way of interesting trademarks. But I found one that made me want to do this video, as you can probably tell from the title. But of course, I am saving that one for the end. So the first trademark I want to talk about is Chocolate Suede from Too Faced. So Too Faced has a lot of chocolate-themed products. There's the Chocolate Soleil bronzers, the various chocolate bar palettes, the melted chocolate lipsticks, and I think there's just regular chocolate lipsticks as well. Chocolate has been a theme of Too Faced products, and I saw Chocolate Suede, and I was like, this is something new, and I wonder what this could be. So it could be another eyeshadow palette, although it doesn't really seem to follow the theme in my opinion, uh, you know, maybe because they have chocolate gold, but what would chocolate suede be? Like, I just think of another warm palette. It would be cool if chocolate suede was something different because I think smooth, when I think of the word suede, I think of something that feels good. So it could be really cool to have maybe like a velvety face primer, maybe some sort of like velvety kind of powder, something that goes along with the word suede more than the word chocolate, because if it is a chocolate suede palette, I would bet it's going to be just a very boring brown palette with like the signature Too Faced purple. But I'd love to hear your thoughts on these trademarks. That's also why I do these videos as well, because I love to hear from other people. This is really a fun time where we get to kind of discuss what we think these products could be or what we would want them to be before we're tainted by what they actually are, which is why I enjoy talking about them anyway. So that's just my two cents on what a chocolate suede could potentially be. There's a trademark I found from e.l.f., which is kind of unusual because e.l.f. doesn't usually trademark things. So another disclaimer is this doesn't mean these products are actually going to exist. These trademarks happen to be very, very new. So they may not get accepted. They may pull them. Sometimes things get trademarked and gets fully accepted and we never end up seeing the products because they end up changing direction or changing names. So we never actually know if these things are going to happen until they actually do. But e.l.f. trademarked Electric Mood. And I, I, I think this might be a whole line of things because e.l.f. doesn't really trademark individual products. So the fact that they trademarked or have submitted a trademark for Electric Mood makes me think we are going to see some bright, colorful things from e.l.f. Uh, I would probably anticipate potentially something summery. I'm thinking bright, colorful eyeliners, maybe uh, colorful mascaras, Sticking with the whole eye focus thing that I talked about in my trend prediction video, I wouldn't be surprised to see like a whole focus on just bright electric colors, something that's cheerful and fun. I, I just, I don't think it's a specific product. You know, I don't think this is like an eyeshadow palette, although there probably will be an eyeshadow palette with this. I just see it being a whole collection of things that fall under like the electric mood umbrella. I feel like it's a fitting name for a collection as well. Electric mood, you know, things that get you in that sort of mood. So I'd love to hear your thoughts as well, what you think could fall under these kind of products. Is there specific things you really enjoy from e.l.f. that you would like to see more of? Like I really love the Retro Paradise palette, so I would love to see something similar formula-wise that comes out of the electric mood if we ever do see it. Uh, I just, I really think we could use something bright and fun and colorful and it's kind of exciting to see this. I don't come across a lot of drugstore brands trademarking things because it's often just a lot of generic terms. Now, L'Oreal has filed for trademarks. Uh, L'Oreal is a parent company though, so it, it's impossible to tell what they actually have trademarked these for, so I'd love to hear some opinions because I did some searches to see if like these products came up, if they were similar to other things that existed and I couldn't find anything. So the first thing I saw was 4-in-1 Glow Makeup and that to me obviously screams highlighter. Uh, I did see some other brands that had like 4-in-1 
like highlighter palettes that were like four different shades in one palette. I feel like those are kind of done though. Uh, I, I don't really see that being very exciting. Not to say that all these products have to be like innovative new inventions or anything, but four in one glow. Perhaps it could also just be like a primer, uh, something that's supposed to be more illuminating, a liquid highlighter perhaps. Maybe there's like four benefits in one bottle. It's hard to know what they are labeling it for. I do know that all these trademarks are specifically for cosmetics though. It's not for skincare. So especially it does say makeup there as well, which leads me more towards like a highlighter, some sort of glowy product or palette as opposed to like a serum or something like that. And just for reference, underneath the L'Oreal umbrella we have Maybelline, L'Oreal of course, NYX, Lancome, YSL, Armani, Urban Decay, IT Cosmetics, and Shuomura. So 4-in-1 Glow Makeup does sound more like a drugstore brand to me. I'm thinking more Maybelline, potentially NYX. It's just what I'm sort of leaning towards with that particular trademark. Sometimes when L'Oreal trademarks things, they do include the brand name in it as well. It really depends on what the product is. I find that trademarks seem to really vary. Uh, another thing I found was this is Juice Gloss, which was kind of interesting. An interesting name. Definitely a lip gloss. I don't know why, like, I think, well, actually, okay, I, I say I don't know why, but because juice is in there, I definitely thought of Juicy Tubes from Lancome, so maybe this is a Lancome product, this is Juice Gloss, maybe it's a callback to those Juicy Tubes. I do feel like, again, we are going to have more of those lip balms and lip glossy kind of things. Maybe this is Juice Gloss, is like a hydrating lip balm that makes your lips shiny maybe i can't really see a lot of lip focus stuff right now except for stuff that's meant to hydrate which is maybe why it's got special ingredients in it maybe it's more natural products that's what i'm leaning towards with this is juice and i found an interesting trademark for eyeshadow very specifically laid out as eyeshadow for something called crosstown blaze i almost want to say urban decay but the last one i'm going to talk about is specifically an urban decay trademark as that's the way that they normally do trademark the specific Urban Decay ones. But Crosstown Blaze, like initially I did think Maybelline and I started Googling because I was like, this has to already exist. Like this sounds like something that already exists because sometimes they end up trademarking things after. It's not unusual if something ends up being successful and they want to kind of keep it in their line and they want to keep it straight to them, then they'll trademark it afterwards. But I couldn't find anything. It's very odd to me, but because it's a very specific eyeshadow trademark, it's gotta be a big release. Like I can't imagine this just being like an individual little eyeshadow. Like this has to be like an eyeshadow palette. I'm not a big fan of the name because it does make me think of warm tones because Blaze makes me think of like orangey red shades, those warm browns. I, I really hope I'm wrong, but I, I can't imagine an eyeshadow palette that has the word blaze in it that isn't just obnoxiously warm toned. Not that there's anything wrong with it, just that I feel like we have seen so much of that that it'd be nice to see something different. But that's just where I can't, I can't seem to think beyond fiery for Crosstown Blaze, but it would be cool to maybe see a, a different take on something fiery, maybe like the after a fire when everything's sort of burnt and like you have a lot of like darker like blackened shades and maybe some shades of gray. Maybe I'm thinking too deeply about this right now but I would just like to see something different and I, I wish I knew what like specific brand this was for. So I, I, I don't like the general brand parent company trademarks, unless they are like the last one. So this is gonna be like a short and sweet video, but I did find the Naked Urban Decay Cyber. So yes, we are getting another Naked palette. I'm not surprised. Although I was a little surprised when I saw the name, Naked Cyber. I was like, this has potential. Now, of course, it's Urban Decay and the chances of us being disappointed by a Naked palette are high. Let's just say that. It's very, very high. But uh, I like the thought of it. Like initially, I'm immediately thinking beautiful grays and cool tones. I threw together a couple of mock-ups in literally 10 minutes. So please don't judge me too harshly on these. Uh, I'm going to explain my thought process behind them, but I did them super quickly because I wasn't sure what I was going to do video-wise and I just 
and was like, let's look at the trademarks. And when I found this, I said, this is it. I have to talk about this because I always have to talk about Urban Decay and especially the Naked palettes. So I threw together a couple of mock-ups based on what my like initial impression of the phrase Naked Cyber and sort of some lofty ideas. So I definitely love to see Urban Decay tackle multi-chromes. Doesn't have to be anything crazy, maybe two in a 12 pan palette. You know, if we had that sort of uh, purpley to dark purple and blue, something that seems very simple in terms of the multi-chrome sphere, but would be very unique for Urban Decay. And then maybe like a blue, different blue green, you know, something a little safe in terms of the multi-chrome world. It's, it's almost like just a slightly jacked up duochrome, but it's still a little different than what we see right now. And I just wanted like a bunch of gray tones of like silvers and different finishes because the Urban Decay formula for metallics is generally pretty strong. And I just thought, well, you have so much of grays in there and, and maybe just some unique colors in there that make me think like cyber goth. So you have it sort of balanced by like those sort of dark blue, black, even deeper gray tones with like the lighter grays and then you have those pops of color that are kind of seen with like the cyber goth kind of aesthetic which I think like Urban Decay could do really well. Like a lot of people myself included are always talking about like Urban Decay get your edge back and how cool would it be to see them really lean into like a cyber goth aesthetic for a while and do a whole like cyberpunk sort of you know the cool grays and black and really give us those cool tones but then throw in those bright fun colors as well throw in some of those chromey shades some multi-chromes and duo chromes i think that could get a lot of people talking again and a lot of people would probably be really responsive to it and i just i think it would go very well now i i was kind of joking with myself and i'd like desaturated everything and was like this is probably more what it would look like and then i was like wait a second yeah this looks like really repetitive now with a lot of like similar tones but also wouldn't be the first time we've seen something like that but I actually like this like it's more purple gray and black uh this was it started as a joke and then I was like you know what I actually kind of like it I actually kind of like it do I think this is a possibility absolutely not but it's fun to think about I kind of like this general color story uh, of, of like the eggplant purple and silver and I'd really like to see some more of that and makes me want to play with those colors that's the benefit of these like mock-ups I was just playing around with things and now I'm inspired to play with different color stories that I hadn't really thought about in that specific way like I got a bunch of ideas that I still need to like execute I had intentions today but then I just ended up doing like blue and silver it was just like damn I wanted to do more like purpley but I couldn't really like get the purple quite right so it ended up turning blue but like having those purple that eggplant the the, the deep like royal purple with like hints of silver in it oh, I think it'd be so beautiful and then again I kind of joked with this one and was like haha I bet this is what it would look like more warm tones and I was like you know what I don't actually hate it it's kind of like a mashup of like Naked 1, 2 and the Naked Smoky, which is the Naked Smoky is what I use as sort of like the palette base for my cyber creations. Because if any of the former Naked palettes was going to be called cyber or like renamed cyber, I feel it would be the Naked Smoky because it had more of those cooler tones in it. Uh, this, like I said, started as kind of a joke and then I was like, yeah, I'm not mad at it. Like it's too warm for what I actually think of when I think of cyber, but it probably leans more towards like realistically what Urban Decay might end up doing for Cyber because I just don't trust them to give us like a fully fleshed out cool tone concept. It would probably be one of those mixed things with like mostly warm tones and a couple of shades that are like a little bit cooler but they aren't actually cool tones they just look cooler in comparison to the warm tones in the palette kind of like a, like a mind trick eye trick thing so I don't know I put in some like greens and some like gold of course and then some of those cooler gray shades as well and I was like yeah you know I could see it working for that sort of like mixed thing especially if you had like mixed metals and if that was the cyber approach that would be pretty cool as well I, I I'm down for different shades of chrome I'm down for like I've mentioned so many times chrome shades and different mixed metals because I actually really like when you have like silver and gold together and I like copper and I like those just different shades i just think they play really well together and they can be really fun and i feel like we are due for that trend to come back because i feel like the last time i saw sort of like the mixed metal chrome metallic sort of stuff was like the very early 2000s so please please bring it back and i mean urban decay has it in them to be 
groundbreaking and innovative and to bring us the cool things. Like they have it in them to be at the forefront to lead the trends instead of following them. Because I think that's the biggest thing. It's not that Urban Decay hasn't done products that are good, it's that they've either done them too late or they've done them after other people. So they're not leading. And I feel like Urban Decay has sort of slacked for the last few years that they can lead this particular charge. If what I think of cyber is actually right with more of those like cooler tones, like I hope, fingers crossed. But uh, I, this is a very, very new trademark. Like I think it's less than a week old. So are we gonna see cyber anytime soon? Probably not. Uh, this, if I had to make a guess, probably wouldn't be out until the fall. It's possible that it could be earlier than that, but I'm guessing it's probably going to be like, you know, or maybe like announced in like the summertime or something. I think this is a long, long, long way away, but I'm definitely gonna keep an eye out because I'm really, really curious to see what happens and I'm hoping we get it sooner rather than later because I like to see what these things are. The one thing about the trademarks is that you kind of get that sneak peek on what is potentially coming, but then you have to wait so long to actually see those visions even potentially come to life. Like I'm waiting on things I talked about like a year ago and more that I'm just like, please, I wanna see what it actually looks like. So I'm hopeful, I'm hopeful. I'd love to hear your thoughts on what you think a naked cyber palette will look like? Do you think it's going to be lots of warm tones or do you think that Urban Decay will give us something cool? And I don't mean that just like cool tones but actually you know something cool. I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions. As always let me know if there are any other videos that you would like to see from me. If you have any specific video requests, ideas, suggestions, they are always very very welcomed. Thank you so much for watching and for hanging out with me. I really truly appreciate it. I hope you have a wonderful day or night wherever you are and I hope we get a chance to chat soon. Bye for now. You want to say goodbye too? Do I say goodbye? Goodbye. Goodbye, everyone.